Hi guys, this is Avro Kefren. Today I'm going to show you how to increase your FPS slash performance to Arc Survival of the Fittest. Uh, you have pretty much two options. Uh, first, of, first of all, you can use the option uh, inside of the game or you can use a setting file that I will show you how to find it um, to improve your performance. Uh, this game is running on Unreal Engine 4. So uh, if you have a, uh, a bad CPU or a low-end CPU, you will have like have some trouble to run this game with 60 FPS. Uh, me, I'm running with the i7 4790K, my CPU from Intel, and I have a R9 AMD 280X for my GPU, and I got like 60 gig of RAM. So uh, I can run this game pretty decently. My GPU is a little bit weak, but. Uh, I can do uh, easily 90 FPS to 100 with uh, the setting that I will uh, show you guys. So first of all, you have the resolution. For sure, if you uh, lower that, you will gain a lot of FPS. But for me, I can't play under uh, full HD, so I will stay like this. Graphic quality over here, you can uh, get a pretty much a big improvement. Uh, me, I'm putting medium, but I think I'm going to go to high because I can run this game pretty much at high. Really visual soon scale, you will see a big improvement if you move that bar. For me, just to go in the middle of uh, the bracket, I, I gained 10 FPS, so that one is pretty big. World title buffer is not that... You can gain maybe 2 to 3 FPS, but it's not that important. View distance, you will see pretty big chunk over here. If you go to medium, uh, eye to medium, I, uh, I save 8 FPS, so pretty big. Anti-aliasing and post-processing are pretty much the same. You can gain 2 to 3 FPS. But uh, for that one, just look at uh, your game because you will see that uh, it can be really weak, the graphic, if you put it at low. So for me, I will go with high over there. General shadow and ter terrain shadows. For me, shadows is not really important. It's not like an effect that I really enjoy. And on Unreal Engine 4, it's crazy. It's, it's like just breaking your FPS and I don't know why so you guys should put it at low so low for shadows and you will gain just for this you will gain probably 12 to 15 FPS texture you can change it again you will uh, increase your FPS sky, sky quality uh, that one if you don't care about the sky you can go lower I see I saw like a, a nice chunk of improvement like 5 to 6 FPS so you should move that one all those effects here, everybody knows in an arc, just unchecked all of this. Right now, the game is not well optimized, so don't use of this and you will see uh, that you will have uh, pretty much a decent FPS. So if you have uh, something something like my rig, you will probably run this game at 80 to 90 FPS right now with uh, those configurations. So I will save this. So now I will show you how to uh, get the settings file that you can change manually. So go to properties, local file, click on browse local file. So now you need to click shooter game, save, config, windows no editor, and game user setting. Over here you have the same menu that I you saw in, uh, inside of the game, but you can change your uh, all your graphic by yourself over here. So all the graphics, scalability grounds are over there. Normally one equals low, two medium, three high, and four epic. So, sometimes you will see that you put low in the game, but for an example, like shadows, you don't like shadows, so uh, you just you don't want low, you just want to remove it from the game. So here in shadow quality, normally it will be shadow quality at 1, you remove it, you put it 0, and you save over here. Make sure you save. So, all your effects are over there, resolution quality, view distance, anti-aliasing, etc, etc. So, all those things here, you can change it by yourself. Uh, depending uh, if you want to gain a lot of FPS or not. So uh, if you look at my video, my previous video, I said like, for an example, uh, uh, view distance, it's a big chunk of uh, FPS. So you can go to one, two or three, depending of uh, your GPU, CPU, and you can change it manually over there. So that's pretty much it. And all those bugs uh, that you can click, you can change it here. So motion blur, when you want to uncheck it, it's technically false. And when it's checked, it's true. So, and sometimes you will see some graphic effect over here that you will not see in the uh, previous menu. So just look at it and look at it if you if you want it. So for an example here, uh, if I want my SSAO, my kind of like a post effect, 
Uh, I can remove it if I want. I just write false and it will be removed from the game. Okay. So uh, if you have any question, don't hesitate. Okay. Uh, just write in the in my uh, YouTube uh, comment uh, section. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, this is not. Uh, I receive a lot of people. Uh, is it hacking? Can I be banned for this? No. It's just your game user setting that you're changing for just for graphic purposes. So uh, you can do it. And also uh, one last thing. When you save your game user setting, make sure you click read only and click OK, OK? Because if you go in, in the game and something change, it will override your file. So make sure that you're in the read only mode. And uh, with that option, you, uh, the game can't override your settings. So that's about it. Thank you, guys. And peace.